you trying to meditate to heal with the hangman here. They're trying to see something from your point of view. They're trying to see things from spirit's point of view. And that's how this person is trying to heal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five or six. This happened in the the fifth or the sixth month this could be the fifth or the sixth person that you did this to this person because I'm seeing one two three four five six and then the Empress there were a possibility there were six Maybe even seven, because I now see this person. I usually go by only with what I know. Possibly eight women. Eight women that were not walked away from within the time that you've known this Empress. And it has taken this many times for this Empress to heal and to look at things for the right way. So this is kind of like a learning thing. I, the Empress here will now go into the Ten of Pentacles, which is like her wish fulfillment. After she learns this lesson, she will hit wish fulfillment with the Nine of Wands. With the Nine of Wands, she will put up boundaries because this was the last time all the swords are down that's a final decision I'm done that was the last time I'm tired of crying I'm tired of fighting I'm tired of being having someone put me in competition with other people I just fucking heard someone was in actual relationships with somebody else not just talking they could have tried to convince these other people that they were madly in love with them. And some of them, they chose to be with these other people in relationships and made this empress the third party. When this other person was just something toxic. And now if it's not other women, it can be other temptations, addictions, you know, stuff like that. Anything that can be a third party. Okay, so they've made the final decision. They don't want to look at this anymore. They're, they're not going to pay attention to it anymore. Because they're with three cups over pouring, over filling, it left this person's cup empty. In other words, you slept that... Guys, if you're the person, the, the narcissist, you slept with somebody else. I don't give a fuck what you want to say. You can try to deny it. You can't lie to me. You slept with somebody else. And if you didn't sleep with somebody else, you fell in love with somebody else, or you sexted somebody else, or you made this person, whatever the cheating part is, whatever the line for cheating is, you crossed this boundary with somebody else. You over poured love to these other people and you gave your empress almost nothing. So with the Wheel of Fortune, the good luck card, they will bring the sun. So this person believes that if they go silent, they get out of their heart and they start thinking with their head, their luck will change. And it'll bring their happiness back, which they're not wrong. They're not wrong. This is like 
This part, this, this Empress is pretty fucking smart. All right, um, let's see here. We've got the Knight of Cups coming. Okay, so. This person felt empty. They know they had two choices and they felt like it didn't matter how they squeezed or which path, which sword they were going to take. It was going to hurt them. And they were in their mindset of irrational fear. They were in the mindset of fear, which they probably told you that, as I said. And something that you did re-triggered and brought back up everything that hurt this person. This could... Fucking A. You fucked around again with someone else. And it re-triggered this person's emotions. I'm seeing this like waves. It's kind of like this empress sensed it. She felt it coming. That you were going to betray her and walk away. Which could have been her rational fears. But from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look fucking irrational. Maybe she was made to believe it was irrational. That's the fucking narcissistic thing, too. You could have made this person feel like her fears were rational. That's called gaslighting. You have no reason to be afraid. I wasn't with nobody else. With the moon here, that's a fucking lie. There's already two people that you're um, communicating with. By this point that you're telling this person, you know, no... Then now you've got the trumpet here. You're trying to call things back. You're probably calling and talking to your exes. And you're making this empress feel like she's fucking wrong and she's fucking crazy. Why do I keep seeing two suns here? Pisces, Aquarius. For some of you guys, it was, if you were a man, you may have went with other men as well. It doesn't have to be, that's for a very small amount. What am I seeing here? I see Cancer. I see um, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Gemini. Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Libra, Sagittarius. So what were you, what, I wonder what was trying to be resurrected. This person feels like you didn't care that you would just resurrect something, so, resurrect a new beginning. This person is straight, is pointing straight to um, the Cancer and the Gemini. I see two different colors on his pants. Maybe.
Was one person light and one person dark? Or have light hair and dark hair? What's the dog have in his mouth? I can't tell if the dog has a snake in his mouth or if it's just... I don't know. It's looking like a snake, so that's what I gotta go with. Um, there's a possibility the person who you thought was loyal to you, someone who you thought, you know, uh, you could have turned to or who was like your sidekick or, oh, fuck guys. I just heard your, someone could have like walked away and they called their wingman to go out and to talk and to communicate and you know so they called this wingman to go hang out the wingman has a snake underneath the deck the tower um Guys, I don't know if this means that the wingman is going to hit on your woman or your friend or your buddy is going to go hit on your woman or if it means you're going to send someone who is loyal to you, who's always with you like a child, a son to go and try to get this person, this empress to come back. But this empress could have got a call to have a new beginning. Someone called to have a new beginning with an empress. Here's where the tower comes in. The Empress now hits the tower because we have someone who's coming in here in player mode. And I don't know if this is you collective or if it's somebody else or if it's your friend. The Knight of Wands is the energy of I want to have sex. I want the passionate part. I want the lust. Um... this with the queen of pinnacles here this is someone who is very loving and nurturing this person could have been hurt too by a feminine with dark hair I just heard dry their tear with the roses what the fuck This person who calls this empress could come off to this empress as a player, but really this person is very loving and nurturing and is really good with kids and they could be a parent. They don't have to be, This that does not mean 100% parent because the empress could be a parent. And they see that this either this person was hurting or this person comes in when they see that the Empress is hurting, which is kind of like a player kind of um, move there. If someone wants to come in when someone is hurting and offer this big pinnacle, however, bum bum bum. This is the emperor. 
this person is in emperor mode okay this person is stable this person is you know loyal this person is protective this person is um, he's, they're very watchful and they have a big ass coin to that they have to offer this person this empress but This emperor comes in to make this offer to this empress, right? Bum, bum, bum. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Whoever comes to make the big offer, <laughs> whoever comes to make the big offer, the one who's sitting in daddy chair you know um okay okay sorry took me a second spirit just told just told me okay the person who comes in to make this big offer <laughs> the person who comes in to make this big offer is the emperor they know that they're in the emperor mode now I'm not gonna lie the Queen of Wands here this person sees that you are hurting they see that you are stable that you are working and that you're not fucking a dumbass so if they were to offer something big you wouldn't take advantage of them because you're fine on your own uh, because you're stable on your own. But they think that you're really hot. <laughs> this person thinks that you're hot. Now, when we flip it around, wait, I gotta finish this. They think you're really hot and they have kept it a secret for a really long, for a really, really long time. And They weren't sure which way to go, but they felt like it would only be fair if if they gave equally and made the scales balance and you both poured into the same thing. that this will be like the thing that a thing that is you know like wished for maybe they could feel like you were the person they've wished for since they were a child And they, they want to tell you that they can be very stable. This person, this person is um, kind of bad at communicating. <laughs> They're very bad at communicating. But this person will give equally they will give back what is what is right because they're trying to manifest guys you can't make this shit up they're trying to manifest using their intuition this marriage they're not only the emperor and the empress they are also the high priestess and the Hierophant. So this is a connection that has been in the 5D and one that has been in the 3D. 
I'm not going to lie to you guys. When this spiritual connection comes together, could be twin flames. When this connection comes back together, could be someone from the past. Someone is going to ride in. And they could start shit where someone has to try to defend their self. And a lot of communication is going to come in about bum, 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 this love. Guys, we have got the lovers. We have got the two of cups. We've got the six of pentacles. We've got the emperor the empress. We have got the high priestess and the hierophant. So when this person finds out someone is in this other connection, what happens then? They get all in their emotions. They get super emotional. And then they're like, no, wait, no, wait. I know that I had a third party, but I still, I'm still holding on to your, yours. And we can, we can fix this. We can, we can fix this. Because I have this big ass cup of love. <laughs> I have this big ass cup of love that I juggled <laughs> and gave to more than one person, but I can make this right. I can I can find balance. And this person does not want to see it. So this person may show up at somebody's house. They could show up drunk. Doesn't have to be. And they are looking to start mischief. And possibly steal this empress away. Um, what is this? This is Sagittarius uh, Cancer Energy. Um, someone's, because someone's now going to be left out in the cold because someone finally realized what they're worth. It makes the other person go into, oh, no, why me? I have nightmares. I didn't, I didn't want to put in the work. I just wanted the victory. I just, I just wanted to play with all the other women and all of the young blondes. I just wanted to play with all the young blondes. That shouldn't have made me get cut out because I thought with my dick and you found out the truth and you found out that I was only the king of wands. I was only good talking. I was only, you know, acting towards these other people in the energy of lust, but you are who I want to be married to. But if you marry me, I'll still look for someone else. Someone who's younger than you. So, will you take my cup, please? I rode through this puddle to get to you. Because I, I've been stalking you this whole time. I've been stalking you this whole time that I've been alone. I mean, I know that I was working with, you know, three other people. Maybe even just two. I wasn't working with that many, but, you know, I was making something beautiful. You know? I see that you're stable now. And now other people want you. And I feel like I, I have to play tug or war because I took too long. And you... And you looked out and you saw what was really going on in the world. That I was toxic. I don't like thinking that you think that I'm toxic. I love you <laughs> and we could be so wealthy together
see what the fuck the Empress is gonna, how the Empress is gonna respond to this. What's the Empress gonna say? What's the Empress gonna say to all of this shit that this person's gonna try to ride back in and lie about? Guys, she's on a fucking dolphin. She is, or they, he is on a dolphin. I just heard too loo, motherfucker. <laughs> That's not what everybody's actually gonna say. They're gonna say, I offered you my cup of love. You blocked me out of your life. These aren't upright. You blocked me out of your life so that you could have victory. Go somewhere um, with calmer waters to calmer waters. You left me alone, bound to something that was dying. I just heard you took a boat trip with someone. They took a boat trip with someone. Did they fucking go on a boat with someone? I don't know if it's a kid or if it's someone who's younger. I don't fucking know. And they left. They left this person either way. I was. They felt bound to you because they felt. She, the the empress is saying, I felt bound to you because I knew I know that you're my soulmate, and you left me there. You left me there to die. You didn't care. You fucking went off to go play and have fun. You left me in the energy of fear. And I had to put up all of my boundaries. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, uh, guys, this kind of means um, they had to take care of their self sexually. <laughs> Is what I just got. I put up... They put up all the bound. They put up all their boundaries. There was no other boundaries they could put up, but they became cold. That person is saying. There could have been communication coming from someone small. This someone small has love. The communication is going to be about someone juggling. This person is going to say, I fucking learned that you are cheating on me by the kids. Or someone who's younger than them. That they had a mistress. What the fuck? Guys, we have the High Priestess, the Empress. Oh, shit. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. We have four women. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six women. 
seven if there's the, the one in red over here. You don't see her head though, so I don't know if that counts. And you fucking broke me for the last time. Six or seven women that you played with over time, some of them were way too fucking young for you. And you fucking broke me for the last time. Look, this is in the shape of a cup. That sword's going through the cup. That's cutting someone's love. This person, I, I think this person doesn't This person's in the energy of, I have nothing to defend. I did nothing wrong. I fucking loved you. I, with the a scroll here, that's the energy of, I did everything. I worked hard on this. With the rabbits here, this person could have, you know, even gave to you sexually. But with the rabbits here, you needed sex from other people. Yep, judgment, the fucking three of chalices, the lovers, the two of chalices. <sighs> I loved you. I gave everything to you. I did nothing wrong. And you fucking called in a third party. You knew that you had a choice, you knew that we were bound, that we were committed, possibly married, that you made a promise to me, to God. I thought you were everything that I was wishing for. That you were everything that I loved. I was going to, I was giving you all of my love. And you gave me nightmares and made me cold. You isolated me from my happiness because you were wanting to be a player and make another choice to love someone else. This person, the Seven of Pentacles, like, she's covered in cobwebs. This is kind of like, she's saying, you did not, you wouldn't even move to put the work in. You refused to heal. Look, cobwebs are here on the King of Pentacles as well. You took way too long. You got your strength back. Fucking A. You could have went after a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Um, the woman in red, which would make the other person over here. Now this person is, it's like this person healed. They got stronger. They could have been working out for some a queen of wands, someone who's promiscuous. Who they wanted to be a third party. It was going to be the karma that sets in to make this third party as an option. This person could be very promiscuous. This person could know that this person was married and they didn't fucking care. So the abundance 
Someone's abundance could get cut off. Or someone was afraid they could have got could get fired. The page of swords, someone put in communication or had immature communication. The emperor here is still tied with that red cord. They're still tied to fucking acting like the Knight of Wands. And it caused... You were still tied to acting like a player. And it broke me for the last time. Because I, I just heard I've already raised my children. I'm not your mother. this a blonde who um, is saying is like covering her mouth saying hush or shh like I'll keep this a secret I'll keep it a secret and that way we can keep our wish fulfillment or someone with light color hair is like shh let's not say anything and we can play around and fuck around on somebody else when they're not looking like what the fuck fuck around on this king of swords this person who is very logical person who is very intelligent person who you're married they're married to Someone started to see something differently and they tried to come back in when I tried to come back in again to talk about these secrets so that we could try to fix this and work on this situation again you acted like you did not fucking care that you were solid that there was there's literally no breaks in this tower like there's none there's lightning all around it's kind of like there's conflict all around but this person did not care they were staying solid they're like this is my happiness I'm gonna stay in my happiness I will come to it I will get there whenever I get there I'm coming whatever um, I just heard I'm coming like I will come make an offer when I'm ready to blow this horn. Remember how the horn gets blowed? Or you wanted to come and blow your horn when you felt like it so long after the cobwebs, after you sleeping with multiple other women, pouring out all of the love that you were supposed to give to me, and then fucking disappearing to go get someone else pregnant while you were spending all of your time talking to, sexting, being on other um, dating websites, offering your cup of love to everybody. And now with this Five of Swords, I'm drawing the line this is my line. You have crossed it. You have way crossed it. You have crossed the line so bad. You have fucked up so bad, you don't even know what has happened yet. I'm 
I'm gonna walk away. Because there's a change coming that you don't know about. You got someone else pregnant. This person may have been listening to spirit to not communicate yet until it was past the time to where they felt like they could have communicated with you if they tried to communicate with you that you would try would fight with them and try to make them end this thing oh yeah and not only that but your um their vagina was, uh, their, you know, their pussy was on fire for a reason because, um, they have an STD and the woman that you blew, the woman that you blew gave you an STD or that blew you gave you an STD and the other one is pregnant and I'm fucking done what can I do I just heard what can I do what can I do I'm gonna fucking love myself I have this ace of pentacles I can dust off this thing that I was trying to work on before before you tried to come in and play games and fool me into this new beginning you I just heard you wanted to watch a cat fight And that's the whole reason why you called someone else in. And so the truth came out because there was a fight in between the two women and it was justice that this falling apart is falling apart on purpose so that someone can actually be okay because this shit's way too toxic. This is what the Empress is saying. It's way too toxic. Look at this. Now you have all of these bumps all now you're going to have all of these bumps all over your penis probably from this person who was blowing you. This person who was blowing you gave you, you know, bumps all over you. And yes, if you don't know yet, you can spread STDs from the mouth to the penis. If someone has an STD in their mouth, they can spread it. Um you're always thinking with sex in mind with other people and so much so you've left me waiting here for so long never giving to me and now it's time for me to manifest my dreams for me to manifest the story that I want to write saw the axe there. The runner. What did I say? Gaslighting. The runner ran after passion. They gaslit someone and were having the time of their life playing happy and single and being happy 
Moving on. And being distant from you because bum bum bum. They found a pussy to play with and they had someone else on the side. On the side of what? Your fucking marriage or your commitment. Communication was starting to come out. Maybe this person has not communicated yet. They were thinking about it. Mercury fucking retrograde. Everything then becomes reviewed during Mercury retrograde when the fucking rose colored glasses come off and all the gaslighting can now lo no longer. Yeah. Alright, guys, this reading has been super freaking long and um, really dramatic and kind of crazy. So let's just pull. All right, if you're the narcissist, give me a card for the narcissist. If you're not the narcissist, I will pull one for you as well. Kind of hope you're not the narcissist. <laughs> the seer, visionary, I chart the stars, signs, and symbols of craft and magic. Seer, number nine. Number nine could be Important. That's the month of September. September could be important. Um, he is an intuitive visionary that has clear the clairvoyant genius to see and interpret it magical signs for forecasts and manifestation. He reveals that you have the potential for transcendent sight, astrology, and enchanted powers. Open your eyes and see the signs. So, the spirit is telling you, open your fucking eyes. See what the fuck is going on. Name means all seer and a spirit animal. The raven symbolizes magic. His totem is a pair of antlers that represents his divine wisdom. Invoke um, him for spiritual guidance to understand and decipher your visions. So this is someone who could be um, talking to either a counselor, which would be fucking awesome. That's what I hope that if you are the narcissist, that's what I hope you do. I hope you go to therapy. I hope you find healing. I hope you figure out something. You know. Decipher your vision, symbols, and prophetic dreams. Embodying his divine qualities will open mythical pathways for you. Okay, so this is somebody. There's a possibility. This could. There's a possibility this could be a divine masculine. But in their karmic form. In their distorted energy if this is you um, but they're saying you know you have the ability to actually help even from your energy if you get your shit together take off the fucking rose colored glasses that you're looking at the shit self that you think that you are and realize that you can fucking change your life and change the life of those around you now for the other person the Lapis uh, Star. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. Uh, 35. Alright, so this person is working on their higher purpose. Insight, perception, passion. The Lapis uh, Star inspires personal and spiritual power. The energetic vortex reveals inner truth, encourages self-awareness, and promotes self-confidence. Remember self-confidence? That's what we started with. Believing in myself. So this this person needs to believe in their self. Intuitive expression. 
um, is known the crystal is known to open the third eye chakra and balance the throat chakra. It stimulates psychic sight and enhances dream recall and interpretation. Where or place lapis lazuli lazul at the throat to amplify clairvoyance and visualization. In collaboration with the third eye, this crystal clarifies psychic and mediumship connection. So this person is a psychic and a medium, thus increasing contact with the spirit realm for healing messages. So, I don't know, maybe this person goes to this person to find out what's going on. They, they have the ability to contact someone that knows something's going on. Could be this person. Because this person is not only a psychic, but they're also a medium. There is someone here who's darker. This talks about battle. Sun goddess. I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure. The huntress. Lay my quest to be wild and free. There's What is the card under that? The Enchanter Dreams. I wish upon a star for dreams come true. Guys, this could be someone who is of a darker descent than the Divine Feminine who comes in to try to seduce this person. And I feel like this person could have been in a relationship at one point. They don't have to be, but there's somebody here who is darker skinned, darker hair than this divine feminine that this person also went to run and chase after that you, while they were committed or you were committed. Um... I'm still talking to this person here. I'm not talking to the narcissist. I'm still talking to this person. This person could have chased somebody else who had... Fucking... You can't make this up. Look at this. The narcissist. The fucking narcissist. knew it was a fucking narcissist. <laughs> See the mask there. Okay. So, to this person, okay, you were very stable, you were very secure, you tried to Keep your permanence as much as possible. You have flexibility. You bend and you swayed until the separation. You knew that there was nothing else to do but separate. Yeah. Fucking coffee cup. Are you serious? Well, I'm done. All right, guys, that's what I have for this reading. That. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe. Till next time, as always, stay weird. Bye. Guys, I gotta say it um, before I completely end. For some of you guys, for some of you, this narcissist slept with one of their friend's wives, and that's who got pregnant. Like, if their friend, if their, if their woman works with them, and say if this woman is darker skinned, Spirit told me that this person, this person will get pregnant, not by the person, oh wait, is it, uh, is it the blonde that gets pregnant? 
did this person sleep with more than one of their buddies, like, partners? Guys, this person could have slept with all of their friends' wives or girlfriends, this narcissist. They're getting one of them pregnant. I don't know if it's a blonde they're getting pregnant or if it's a woman with darker skin that gets pregnant. I don't know, but it won't be their buddy's baby. It'll be fucking theirs. Anyways, that's what I have. Oh, yep, someone's going to be fucking pissed off. And they will reject that baby at that point. <sighs> Kids fucking don't deserve this shit, guys. Kids don't deserve this shit. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys. Hope this helped. I hope this reading didn't piss you off as much as it did me. Until always. Until next time. As always, stay weird. Bye. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been.